Hello, today we will connect GDS simulator system via AnyDesk and explain how main engine power and RPM will change according to weather. Let's open the simulator. I select group 3 and enter the password. Click start button. After that, I will choose full ahead maneuvering mode and click start search button. Let's use control, shift, alt and f11 k combinations to view simulator in full screen mode and let's go to the ship parameter screen from ship parameter screen we can see the weather as you can see the weather is good right now and let's go to the ship propulsion system and observe the wind as you can see the wind is zero before right now and let's go to the main engine parameter screen the load is 84.5 main engine power 17 and rpm 85 let's go to the parameter plus screen there are many reference graphs and i will pick the main engine power and weather graphs i will pick the rpm for x values and main engine power for the y values and then I need to remove auto scaling to manual to scale manually. I scale Y values from 15 to 20 for observing to main engine power. And also I scale X values as 80 to 85. And this is graph as you can see. There are also some graphs at the top of the simulator and I will pick the RPM and main engine power for these graphs. I need to scale them again for observing and actually main engine speeds from 0 to 87 is ok and we will scale the main engine shaft tower from 17 to 23 and after that I will push to reset graphs buttons and let's go to the ship parameter screen and change the weather I am changing the weather as light weather let's go to the ship propulsion screen and observe the wind the wind is too before right now I will go to the main engine parameter screen and as you can see main engine RPM is 85 power 17 and load is 85 they are rising slowly I will go to the parameter plus screen to see what's going on as you can see RPM is decreased suddenly because of the changing weather suddenly the speed and main engine power are increasing step by step. Let's draw at the reference graphs and see. The green line represents good weather and blue line for light weather. And as a final red line for extremely bad weather. Let's observe the main engine parameters. The load, main engine power and RPM are raising in a time. And I will go to the parameter plot screen and see what's going on. As you can see it's continued to rising and let's draw a line to determine approximate the main engine power as you can see the graphics will become steady state approximately 18 megawatts also you can observe the each parameters on the separate graphs on the top We need to wait a little more. And as you can see, it is 
almost still state and the current value is 18 and let's go to the ship parameter screen and change the weather as extremely bad weather after that for observing wind I'm going to go ship propulsion screen and the wind is 5 before right now and let's observe some parameters from main engine parameter screen as you can see speed is 83 power 18 and load 88 they are rising also we can see fuel oil consumption in time and as you can see they are all increasing slowly let's see what's going on in parameter plus screen rpm decreased suddenly and as you can see from the refresh graphs power will become to approximately 20 megawatt for steady state condition as you can see load main engine power and rpm also fuel oil consumption increasing step by step i will go to the parameter plot screen again we can see that parameters continue to rising power will come to the approximately 20 megawatt and we will wait for parameters to become to the steady state condition and also we can observe the each parameters separately at the top speed is almost 84.5 and we need to wait a little more it is rising more slowly now and as you can see it's near near the steady state condition it's almost steady state and let's let's determine all the power values related to weather and the red line for extremely bad weather and as, as you can see that the value is 20 megawatts and the blue line for light weather and we will draw it and as you can see the value is almost 18 megawatts the green line for good weather it's almost 17 as we can see reference graphs values and simulator values are similar and thank you for watching